Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Um, okay, so this video is about um, the full moon in Leo. And I guess I should have said um, good afternoon because by the time I upload this, it would already be afternoon. Um, so if you were on um, my social media accounts, I did post... Um, some information in regards to um, the full moon in Leo in which I am just going to kind of read and then I'm going to give you a more in-depth um, spiritual um, interpretation in relationship to our tree of life and by the way I thank you guys for always coming by here I thank you guys for listening to me I thank you guys for loving me and I definitely definitely sends you love always so leo of course is of the lion which represents strength determination courage and even intuition the lion signifies the ability to stand alongside others yet has the courage to stand alone when necessary and still have the determination and strength to move forward the lion also is a very picky the lion chooses its battles. If it's not worth its time, the lion will let it be, knowing that something bigger or better will come. The lion always knows its own strength. Therefore, there's never a need to pounce without really wanting something. Leo, therefore, is associated with the heart our true character our strength and our determination comes from our sacred center within without the heart one can be weak vulnerable timid afraid and inexperienced mars will be in a slow and stubborn moving taurus which will be opposite of jupiter in aquarius so there may be some challenges during this full moon to stay motivated and even centered Jupiter, our largest planet, will be working with Leo, and therefore our heart, during this full moon. Jupiter's energies is associated with intelligence, wealth, as well as patience. The combo here is urging us to use our greatest intelligence to make wise decisions. It's about seeing beyond what's within our vision, and having patience allows for that. When we act on impulse and are too hasty in our decision making, failure, disappointment, and hurt feelings can arise as a result. These energies are very fiery. They may push you to your boiling point. Remember to always strive to be your greatest self at all times. The moon will be completely illuminated by the sun, hence its visibility. It is the aspect of yin and yang, hot and cold, and masculine and feminine, mind and heart, or also known as balance. The moon always works with our emotions, exposing our true character and self. The moon encourages us to let go of all aspects of ego and therefore pain and limitations. The full moon also represents the time of receiving what we have worked so hard towards. Towards, excuse me. So be mindful. The things that you have been creating may appear as the result of being ready to receive. It's all about preparation and readiness, so be aware. As manifestations appear in all types of ways, if you're too busy defending yourself, fighting with others, or being ungrateful, you may miss what the universe is bringing to you in the form of gifts or even miracles. The message here is to pause before you react, breathe before you speak, and think before you make a move. Clear away the debris and keep a lookout for abundance. Remember, acting out as a result of our pain, expectations, or limitations only makes matters worse. That pause, that breath, that thought prior to decision-making allows for the heart to decide and not the ego. That pause, that breath, and that thought allows you to see the greater picture, which demonstrates compassion. 
that pause, that breath, and that thought is making you slow down. Slowing down allows you to take notice. Become grateful and observe. Not everything is about ourselves, but it is when we react out hastily. Or in hastiness, excuse me. So that is my um, social media interpretation. Now, I want to kind of explain why there are certain things that um, I write about on my social media accounts and then why I refrain from doing so. I understand, I completely understand, that not everybody is ready to hear the type of information that I provide. And that's why I, I love Facebook using, I mean, uh, excuse me, why I love using YouTube. YouTube and now, of course, uh, Patreon and then my um, podcast. And if you are not checking those out, please do. I am on, um, let's see, where am I on? Anchor, Spotify, um, Google Podcasts, and um, Breaker, a few other ones there. So you can check all of those out, whichever one you prefer to. Um, I'll listen to. So now here is my interpretation when it comes to um, these influences now. Now keep in mind, we are working with pretty much every single um, um, planet and a lot of um, astrological signs throughout this time, and we always are, but there are the way that each individual um, each individual who has the ability to receive information is given information about certain aspects of the overall experience. We all can't be talking about the same thing, and yet we all are talking about the same thing. There's kind of a link up um, between what is going on. Like, of course, there's going to be lots of videos about the full moon in Leo. Lots of information um, in relationship to that. And then some people are going to focus more about other energies coming through. For instance, some people talk a lot about um, the Schumann resonance. I don't ever really bring that up. Although I have the ability to also... Um, see or even I have actually heard her speak before um, I haven't in a while so um, how someone takes in information is dependent upon what type of service they have agreed to and who they are working with um, and all kinds of things so not one thing is going to be right or wrong. Not one thing is going to resonate with you or not. It's whatever you find that you are going through, listen to. And if you don't resonate with it, then it might not be affecting you right now. And it might later on. So... I guess what I'm trying to say is don't take it wrong or, or right when it comes to, I mean, I guess don't take it wrong if you are listening to even my videos or other videos and you don't resonate with it or um, information is, is missing like from mine or from another individual um, and there's no real connection between the two and there, there shouldn't really be a lot of the same stuff, but then there should still be the same stuff. I hope you understand. There's going to be a lot of similarities, but there's also going to be a lot of differences. So I hope that makes sense. And now what I am going to talk about here is that the hookup that we are, are dealing with here now the full moon in Leo. So we have the moon. Um, 
and now although we are having a full moon when we are talking about Leo Leo signifies our heart and is always working together with the Sun now that what's taking place now of course for it to be a full moon is that the Sun is um, illuminating giving light to the moon making it more visible or making it shine um, a very bright so we have the moon we have the Sun we have Mars we have Jupiter um, but we all also have and I'm flipping back into my my diagram here that I'm kind of looking at so um, forgive me but we also have um, because of um, I'm trying to go back Mars is moving through Taurus and I'm also trying to make notes here Taurus which is a in relationship to Venus we also have um, and I'm adding mercury mercury into this because we are already feeling mercury although it is it, the retrograde of a mercury um, the pre um, shadow phase took place I believe on the towards the 15th or um, 18th um, somewhere during that time frame and so that energy is incorporated with what I am kind of talking about but regardless if I make this connection here or not today the um, the Sorry, I pushed pause there. So what, um, and I kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, every time there is a, we know the, the um, saying, as above, so below. So when we are working with, within our lower self, or the lower part of our tree of life, that we're always working with a higher aspect of our self making some sort of a connection so um, we are taking in via our tree of life in coordinates with what's going on now Leo again is associated with our heart it is the Sun it is our higher mental body incorporating with it is going to be the Jupiter and Mars uh, connection here working with our buddhic body um, again associated with love mercy compassion empathy connecting with um, our um, atmic body which is about liberation true exp expression self-respect um, spiritual truth and has the energy of indigo and we're also working with the lower aspect of the moon which is the etheric body this is in relationship to the physical body in the energy plane associated with it um, I am also adding that we're working with the lower mental body which is the ego because we are always working with ego especially when it's in relationship with the moon um, in the sexual region and we are also working with the emotional body um, via the astral plane this is connecting us with more of our heart um, root for sure kind of the aspects of our even will we be working with our solar and um, sacral plexus um, but of course because of how things always play out we're also working with our our um, our mind um, 
which means, of course, our brain. And this connection via Leo is creating another triangle. Um, and we are, we are actually creating a, a square when it's all said and done. When we add in um, a Mercury retrograde, metrograde, retrograde into it. Now, again, my interpretation can be a little bit different because I always like to incorporate um, the aspect of our experiences, which are always working within our tree of life. If we cannot work with our experiences, we are not learning our lessons. We are not ascending. Now we are taking in during this time formation and allowing things to be manifested. We are taking in that higher plane from our heart, things of our heart, things that we truly believe in in our heart and carrying them down into um, our physical plane where manifestation is possible. If we do not believe in what we are trying to accomplish in our lives, we cannot create anything. The birthing process will not be created. So that is what we are working with here, creation. And that is the simple term that I could have just used to begin with. We are attempting to create something divine here. And that's why when we are always working from our heart, working with our highest self, really trying to eliminate things that are hindering us, kind of binding us and keeping us um, um, tied to the ground, not to the point of grounding, but not moving, there's no way that we're going to be able to manifest anything. I also wanted to add something that I have been asking you guys to work with your moon in sign or um, know about it. And if you are still interested in hooking up with me in my Sacred Secretion Masterclass, do so on Patreon. Get connected there. And we're going to begin uh, more, most likely the second week of February. Um, and I want you to get familiar with the concept of moon in sign. And I will help you figure that out um, once we begin the program. And um, I'm going to fill you in on a little bit more about that. Um, I was going to do it now, but I think I'm going to hold off. There's other aspects that will play out in, in this process. And you will find those answers as you progress throughout it. So I hope that you find this um, video in resonance with you today. And always seek to be your highest self. Be mindful, be aware, and be love. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.